After months of waiting, we finally have confirmation that all the gossip and rumors are true. Kanye has released a new album. Also, humanity has, for the first time, directly detected gravitational waves emanating from two enormous black holes smashing into each other over a billion light years away. If you're not sure why you should care, allow me to give you a very brief and overly simplistic explanation. Almost exactly 100 years ago, Einstein predicted that any two objects with mass will produce ripples in the fabric of space-time when they move around. Imagine slow dancing with a friend on a trampoline for some reason. And the larger the objects, the more mass the objects have, the bigger the ripples. The problem is that it's such a tiny, tiny effect, imagine two ants slow dancing on a trampoline, that we need to see two very massive objects behaving in this way in order to detect any difference here on Earth. Lucky for us, black holes exist. Or at least up until now, we've been pretty damn sure that they exist. And they're big enough that when two black holes start slow dancing, it's probably going to be big enough for us to see, even if they're, say, 1.3 billion light years away. That's exactly what happened, and scientists were able to detect it using the recently upgraded Laser Interferometer Gravity Wave Observatory, which is actually two separate facilities, each of which consists of L-shaped tunnels, two tunnels that are each two and a half miles long. The gravitational waves were big enough to change the length of the tunnels, which is how scientists were able to see them. The problem with measuring something like that is that you can't just use a tape measure because these waves are not just changing the length of the tunnels, they're changing everything around the tunnels, the fabric of space-time itself. So the only way you can measure it is using the one constant we know of, the speed of light. So they do that using lasers. They shoot lasers down the length of the tunnels and measure how long it takes those lasers to bounce back. It's all incredibly impressive, especially considering that in one fell swoop, these researchers were able to get direct evidence confirming the existence of black holes, merging black holes, and yes, gravitational waves. It's, it's incredible. Even more incredible is that by measuring the frequency and the amplitude of the gravitational waves, researchers were able to determine the size of each of the black holes that were merging, the eventual ending size of the final black hole, and how far away the black holes were. This is why it's a bit frustrating that there are so many people out there that are still arguing that the Earth is flat or that the universe is only 6,000 years old. Our scientific knowledge is so far beyond that, that it's ridiculous. Look at what these people are missing. Not only is the universe a bit older than 6,000 years, but you can right now listen to the sound of two black holes merging 1.3 billion years ago on YouTube. It's, it's on YouTube. You can just go click a link and you can hear what it would sound like if we could hear black holes merging in real time. I, you don't even have to go searching for it. I'll just, I'll put the link here in the video so you can just click it, one link, and you can go and listen to that sound. That's, it's incredible. Never in human history has it been so easy to find out exactly how weird and wonderful our universe is. So, uh, if you're interested in learning more, and I hope you are, I'll include a bunch of links to my favorite descriptions of what this all means and where scientists are going next. Uh, you can find uh, all the links on my Patreon page. Check it out, please. Go and enjoy how awesome the universe is.